Hi everyone, and today we're reviewing a couple good movies here. First, we're going to be reviewing A Nightmare on Elm Street Blu-ray Collection. And, uh, you know what? The movies are good. Not all of them. I can tell you right now. The first Nightmare on Elm Street, um, is good. Uh, it's the best one. The, uh, it's the scariest one. Um, you know, if you guys don't want to know anything, you know, any spoilers, I would not recommend watching this, but, um, there are spoilers, so just be aware. I'm telling you a spoiler right now on which victim dies, like, a female victim does die, she gets sliced right here, her shirt opens up and Freddy leaves big bloody, three bloody flashes right on her chest, and she gets, she gets pulled up the wall and gets pulled on the roof and she's like screaming on the roof and she's like bleeding, and then she falls on the bed and like all this blood splashes, goes over, all over her boyfriend. Um, Nancy, the actor Nancy is a very, very good actor. So hats off to you, wherever my hat is right now. Um, but she did a good job on acting in the movie. Okay, what would I rate, what would I give Nightmare on Elm Street 1, the first one, what would, what would I rate the movie a 10, probably a 10 out of 10 skulls. Um, okay, A Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. Um, A Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge takes place with new people in the house a few years later after, um, Nancy gets out of the house and her dad, um, I can't remember who the uh, the guy is, but um, Freddy took over. What's his name? Um, he has a girlfriend in in the movie, the second Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy's Revenge. Um, Freddy starts to take over his body, and uh, there was one scene in the movie. Spoiler alert: three, two, one. Um, he, Freddy, made him kill. Um, one of his friends, and Freddy's t and the way Freddy takes over his body is Freddy literally rips open his arm, and Freddy's arm comes out, and like his hand turns into that claw arc glove, and like Freddy rips open his stomach and comes out of him, and Freddy goes up to his friends and chokes him and lifts him up like Michael Myers would, but Freddy goes like that. And all you see is his parents see these big blades go down, and you see the blood, and there, his friend dies, and, um, his friend gets upset after Freddy did that. But, um, it was good. I wouldn't say it's as scary as, um, the first one, but it is good. I would, I would give this movie... A 9 out of 10 skulls. Um, you know. The next one. Okay. Um. A Nightmare on Elm Street 3. Dream Warriors. Um. I really like the movie. Um. It's really good. But, um. There is issues with it. Nancy's in it. She's not in the second one. She's in the first one and the third one. We'll go on if she's in the fourth or fifth one, but Dream Warriors, I think that's what it's called. The Dream Dream Warriors. Yeah, Dream Warriors, okay. There was one part in this scene that I I found kind of silly. Spoiler alert. Um, one of the girls that was she has problems. She was gonna do some kind of weird attempt to herself and like basically she has nightmares about Freddy. And 
I can say this right now. Each movie um, will be reviewed in each video, but anyway, Dream Warriors, there was one scene, Freddy comes out of the floor in this big, long snake demon thing, and like tries eating her, swallowing her. I found it kind of funny, and then Nancy shows up and stabs him in the eye, and yeah. But all the kids and Nancy have to get together to fight Freddy. Um, and of course, spoiler alert, Nancy dies, dies, um, but I would give this movie a 7 out of 9 skulls. It's a pretty good movie, though. Um, let's move on to the second, the fourth one. Okay, A Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master. Now, before you guys judge me, I do not like... A Nightmare on Elm Street for the Dream Master. I did be, uh, for a couple of months, but now I look back at it. Uh, I thought it was stupid of me. Stupid of me to like that movie. I didn't like it. The actors weren't as good as the actors in 1, 2, and 3. Um, Freddy... In the fourth one, Freddy started to get silly. The whole concept of this Nightmare on Elm Street thing, they took it to a whole, they took it way too far to a new level. And Freddy wasn't scary. He was funny. It was like a comedy movie that failed. It was into trying to be scary. Like, you know, wasn't scary at all. Um, Freddy... And the third one started to even get silly, you know? Like, he wasn't as... The third movie, when he was starting to slowly get silly, you know, funny. It was starting to get funny in the third one, but it wasn't too bad in the third one. And four and five, it was bad. It got bad in five, like, really bad. But it even got worse in Freddy's Dead. We'll, we'll talk about that later on. Um, A Nightmare on Elm Street for the Dream Warriors... Guys, don't waste your time to watch this movie. It's... It's bad. It's not very good. It's, uh... I wouldn't even recommend watching it. So, what am I gonna give the movie? Uh, okay. Like a four... Out of five skulls. Um... It's not good. Okay, let's go on to A Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child. Okay, this is where it gets even worse. Um, basically, The Dream Child is based off of one of the girl's kids when she, get, she gets pregnant. And she has, she has the baby in her dream. And um, basically, he's the one that has to stop Freddy. In the movie. And let me tell you right now. It's so stupid the way. The story is. And the way Freddy is. Freddy. In this movie is even more silly. It gets over the top silly. Not over the top. Not yet. Um, but it gets pretty close to. Too silly. It like It's getting old. They need to do something new. Um, I don't really want to talk about what this movie, just, I didn't, the kills were silly. What Freddy did was silly, when he gets, when the, one of the girl actors fight Freddy, he laughs every time he gets hit in the face, or punched in the face, it's, it's silly. It's not a good movie, I'm not watching that. Okay, this is where it gets too bad. Um, Freddy's dead. The final nightmare. Um, don't even watch this. If I had to say which movies are better than Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, 4 and 5 are better. Even though 4 and 5 are bad, Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare is the worst one. There was a scene in the movie where Freddy's driving the vehicle and he's all like green and he's like, ah, like laughing. And I'm like, 
what is happening? This is not even a Nightmare on Elm Street movie. It was so boring. It was cheesy. It wasn't scary. I turned it off. I couldn't even watch it any longer. I got halfway into the movie. I turned it off and didn't even watch it. The rest of it. Um, yeah. I would give this movie a 1 out of 2 skulls. It's that bad. I wouldn't even watch it. It's probably one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. Um, Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Okay. They finally learned something that they'd done with three movies. Wes Craven's New Nightmare is probably the best performance I've ever seen Robert Englund do. Robert Englund in Wes Craven's New Nightmare, his performance was done better than he did in the first one. Um, what Freddy looked like, I, I liked it. Freddy was good and scary. Um, I like this Freddy design they chose. Um, it does something new for the film franchise. Um, but the thing is, Wes Craven's New Nightmare, Nancy's performance, this is the best performance Nancy has ever done. Um, there's not a lot of Freddy in half of the movie. Then the second half, there is Freddy. But I can see what they're trying to do. Trying to keep the hype going. Um, yeah, it was good. Um, basically, Nancy's kid starts like getting like a paranormal possession kind of feel because um Freddy is taking over him making him do bad things um I would give this movie oh a 9 out of 10 there's something about the original Nightmare on Elm Street that has to get a 10 out of 10 there's something about it there is something about that movie that gets a 10 out of 10 skulls, okay? Um, yeah, anyways, Wes Craven's New Nightmare, it's hard to tell. It either gets a 10 out of 10 or a 9 out of 10, but I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 skulls. Um, it was good. It's not as good as the original, but it's pretty damn close to the good. It's probably just as good or almost just as good. Anyways, guys, I'm going to see you in another video. I hope you're all having a good day. See you guys in another video. See you guys later.